This is Lesson 12 in Module 4. In this lesson, we'll be recognizing and drawing lines of symmetry for two-dimensional figures. When we think of symmetry, oftentimes the first thing that comes to mind is a butterfly, where each side of the butterfly's wings are an exact match for the other one. The shape of the wings are the same. Each side of the body is the same. So that if we fold the butterfly in half, right down the middle, and we draw a line right exactly down the middle, and we fold it on that line, the two halves of the butterfly would exactly line up. And this line would be called a line of symmetry. Meaning that both sides when folded are an exact match for each other. Let's look at a shape that's a little simpler than our butterfly. Let's look at a simple square. Now if we draw a line side to side, right in the middle of the square, and we folded the square in half along that line, the two sides would exactly match up. So that's a line of symmetry. We could also go from the top of the square to the bottom of the square in a straight line. Folding side to side, we get a second line of symmetry. We could also go from corner to corner and make a diagonal line. So when we fold it in half, the two right triangles exactly match up. We could also go from the opposite corner, another diagonal line, and the two sides when folded on that line would exactly match up. So the square actually has four lines of symmetry. One, two, using diagonals, and three, four, going top to bottom and side to side. All right? Instead of a square, let's look at a rectangle. With a rectangle, again, we could fold it exactly in half, side to side, and get two matching pieces. We could also go the other direction exactly in half and get two matching halves. However, with the rectangle, if we try to go diagonal lines, if we fold in half, we're not going to get a match because this corner is going to come up somewhere over here instead of matching up with this corner. So the two sides are not going to match. So the rectangle only has two lines of symmetry. And sometimes we have a shape with no lines of symmetry. This shape, no matter how we fold it, we couldn't get two halves that are exactly the same. So some shapes have no lines of symmetry. Let's do some problems on our problem set. For the first one, it tells us to circle the figures that have a, the correct line of symmetry drawn. The line of symmetry is indicated by dotted lines. Take a moment to pause the video and do one. The correct lines of figures with lines of symmetry are A, B, C would not, as the one side is longer than the other side. If we folded it, they would not match up. D also, if we folded on the dotted line, the two sides would match up. For number two, it tells us to find and draw all the lines of symmetry for the following shapes. Then write the number of lines of symmetry that you found in the blank beneath the shape. So let's look at A first. 
If we draw a line top to bottom and fold our shape, the two sides would match up. We can't go side to side since the bottom is shorter than the top. They'd not, they wouldn't match up if you folded them that way. So there's only one line of symmetry in this shape. Go ahead and pause the video and try B through I. But, and remember that some shapes have no lines of symmetry. Okay, B is just a square tilted on its side. We already looked at a square, so we know that there's one, two, three, four lines of symmetry in a square. For C, there's no lines of symmetry, no way to fold it, so the sides match up. For D, we can fold across the angles for six line for three lines of symmetry, but we can also fold in half along the sides to get four, five, a total of six lines of symmetry. For E, we have one line of symmetry. For F, there's none. For G, there's one. For H, there's one. For I, we could fold it top to bottom, side to side, but we could also fold on the diagonals for a total of four lines of symmetry. In number three, you're given half a figure and you need to draw the other half. The graph paper helps you count the number of squares to make the other side exactly the same size. So for A, we see that it's three squares across. So we're gonna draw three squares across this way and at the bottom and then draw the side. And we have two exactly equivalent sides that would match up if we folded on the dotted line. Pause the video and try B through D. Okay, for B, we count uh, four squares along this side. Then we go over three squares. Then we go down two squares. We go over three squares, we come up one square, over one, and three back to our starting place to have two matching sides. For C, we're going out at an angle, three squares, and then we're coming back in to make kind of a kite shape. Then for D, we're also going out three squares and one square down. Same on the bottom. And then we match up the sides. Okay, moving ahead. Number four. Okay, number four, there's basically an infinite number of lines you could draw to divide a a circle in half. A circle is completely symmetrical. So no matter how many lines we draw, there's always another you, one you can draw because it's a completely symmetrical shape. So there's an in infinite number of lines. So a, a circle is completely symmetrical. So there's an infinite number of lines of symmetry. And that's the end of lesson 12.